Ethereum. Ethereum is looking really, really, really good. So Ethereum really needs to not stuff it up. It needs to catch the pass and not drop the ball. You know, that's what Ethereum needs to do. And I've been pounding the table on Ethereum as a store of value, as a ultrasound money level. Uh, but anyway, some news came out this week that the merge successfully took place on the Kiln test network. So Ethereum is, for those of you who don't know, is a labor intensive, energy intensive proof of work blockchain. So it's very expensive, takes a lot of energy, and it doesn't look good in the mainstream media either. The optics aren't that great. Uh, proof of stake is based on validators and stakers. People who hold, you know, Ethereum, they validate the transaction. So it's a lot more energy efficient. It, the optics are very, very good. The cost goes down. You know, people know that, right? So if I just say those things on its own, it's bullish for Ethereum. But what people don't realize is when the merge officially happened, so the kiln, yeah, you know, the move to the, the test on the kiln was just a test. It was just a test now, right? And it went largely successful. What people don't realize when the merge does happen is the issuance of Bitcoin is going to go, sorry, of Ethereum rather, is going to go down 90%. So Ethereum has an issuance. They release a little bit of Ethereum. That issuance is going to go down 90%. So this is a website I really like called Ultrasound Money. And you can simulate the merge, right? So if I turn that on, you can see we go from before merge, 5.4 million Ethereum a year down to 0.5, right? So it's one thing for me to say. It's another thing for me to show it. The impact on price, I honestly believe this is not baked in yet. I honestly believe the markets have not considered this yet. And they are still waiting. So... We had this here, if I look on the charts here, we had this bearish, right? Bearish descending triangle. And what is a descending triangle? Well, you have this situation where you keep, uh, you keep, you know, lower highs, lower highs, and it's a clear trend, run, a trend line. And at the same time, you keep hitting the same bottom, right? So that's often bearish, right? It's not a good thing. What ha happened here is we broke out of that. So it's we bullish. broke out of that. We now that invalidated this bearish pattern, and the second thing that we're doing, so that's one. It's like kind of jumping hurdles, right? That's a one hurdle jump. The other hurdle is the point one uh, six one eight level, the sixty two percent Fibonacci level. It's now likely, hopefully, we don't know yet. It's going to close above that. This is something I, I wrote a long time ago, and you can see, you know, where I put it. For, of twenty nine hundred must flip as support for there to be any real excitement about Ethereum, uh, provided we do that. Uh, it is a straight shot to 3,200, you know, in my opinion, if, if Bitcoin doesn't, you know, kind of, you know, wet the bed and and and, and muck up there. So Ethereum looking really, really good at, at time of recording, uh, 29.54, honestly, not financial advice, but I don't think the market has factored in what a successful transition to proof of stake will actually do.